In this video, we're going to look at two examples on finding the area of the surface obtained by rotating a curve about the y-axis instead of the x-axis. So here we have the curve. Um, x equals the square root of a squared minus y squared over this interval where y is between 0 and a over 2. And we want to rotate that portion of the curve about the y-axis and compute the surface area. So remember the picture that we have in mind for a little sample band for going about the y-axis is something that looks like this. So I have some sort of um, x radius, horizontal radius. So we're thinking about the surface area as being an, an integral of 2 pi radius or 2 pi x times length ds. Okay. Now in this example, I have x in terms of y and y limits, so I'm going to want to integrate with respect to y. So I want to set this up as s equals the integral from 0 to a over 2 of 2 pi. Now I'm going to actually want x in terms of y, so I want to use the square root of a squared minus y squared for my radius piece. And then ds will be the square root of 1 plus dx dy squared, and we'll have dy here. Okay, so we got to do a little work to figure out what the 1 plus the derivative squared component looks like. So we can go over here and find our dx dy. So we'll have 1 half a squared minus y squared to the negative 1 half times a negative 2y. Remember a is just a constant, so the derivative of a squared would just be 0. So simplifying this, we have negative y over the square root of a squared minus y squared. Now we can figure out our derivative squared. Well, that will be y squared over a squared minus y squared. Okay, and then for looking at 1 plus the derivative squared, we're going to be looking at getting a common denominator. So I have 1 plus y squared over a squared minus y squared. Well, I want to use 1 as a squared minus y squared over a squared minus y squared. So I'll have a squared minus y squared plus y squared all over a squared minus y squared. So notice that we get a little cancellation. This negative y squared and positive y squared cancels. So we have a squared over a squared minus y squared. Okay, so now we can take this a squared over a squared minus y squared, we know that was 1 plus the derivative squared, and insert it into our formula. Okay, so we've got 0 to a over 2, 2 pi, the square root of a squared minus y squared, and then we've got our square root of a squared all over a squared minus y squared. Okay, so we're going to see this is going to work out similarly to one of our earlier examples where I'm going to get some cancellation. So I have the square root of a squared minus y squared. When I take the square root of um, numerator over square root of denominator, well, the square root of a squared is going to be a, because we know that a is always positive here, so it won't be just the absolute value of a, but we can say we know that that's a. And this will be all over the square root of a squared minus y squared. So we get nice cancellation here. These square roots cancel. So we have 2 pi a, that's all a constant 2, the integral from 0 to a over 2 dy. So we're just integrating 1 there. Okay. So I'll have 2 pi a y evaluated from 0 to a over 2, which gives us 2 pi a a over 2 minus 0. Okay. So I see that this comes out to just pi a squared. Okay. For the surface area in this example. Okay. Just to remind ourselves what we were doing there, we were doing um, a rotation about the y-axis. We had to have an x-type radius, but we put x in terms of y here because we wanted to integrate with respect to y. And then we did our arc length um, as 1 plus our dx dy squared under the square root. Okay, let's look at one more example here. So lastly, we've got a curve in terms of x, y equals 1 minus x squared, 
where x is between 0 and 1, and we want to do a rotation about the x-axis. Okay, so, um, excuse me, about the y-axis. So again, I'm thinking about some kind of sample band that looks like this. So I'm thinking about a x-type radius. So I have a surface area that's some kind of integral of 2 pi x ds, okay? And in this case, I want to be doing my rotation about the y-axis, but also integrating with respect to x. So I'll have an integral from 0 to 1 of 2 pi x. I don't want to write x in terms of y. I just want to leave that as x. And then my arc length in terms of x. So I'll have 1 plus y prime squared dx. Okay, so we got to go through and figure out what our 1 plus y prime squared is. Well, y prime we see is negative 2x. So y prime squared will be 4x squared. Okay, so 1 plus our derivative squared is going to be 1 plus 4x squared. Okay, so what does this give us? Well, we have an integral from 0 to 1 of 2 pi x, the square root of 1 plus 4x squared dx. Okay. If this was just arc length, I wouldn't have this 2 pi x term, and I'd have to use some kind of trig sub on a square root of 1 plus 4x squared. But since I'm finding surface area, I have additional terms, so this becomes easier to integrate. So we can go ahead and do a u substitution here. I'm going to have u is 1 plus 4x squared. My du will be 8x dx, or 1 8 du, equals x dx. So we'll have our integral of 2 pi the x dx is going to become 1 8 du, and I'm going to have a square root of u. So this x dx part is becoming my 1 8 du. I have the 2 pi, and then I have my square root here becoming the square root of u. So what about the u limits? Reminding ourselves we need those u limits. We don't um, want to still have the limits in terms of x, because now I have the du. So when x is 0, u will be 1. When x is 1, u will be 5. Okay, so now that we have this in terms of u limits, we don't have to go back to x. I can simplify this a little bit. It looks like I have pi over 4 for my constant I can pull out in front. This integral from 1 to 5, I've got u to the 1 half du. Okay, so this will become u to the 3 halves, divided by 3 halves, or times 2 thirds, evaluated from 1 to 5. Okay. So it looks like this is going to be pi over 6. And we'll have 5 to the 3 halves minus 1. There's not much we can do to simplify that. So this would just be our final answer for the surface area in this case.